Arctic Sea Ice Maximum 2009. The 2009 Arctic Sea Ice Maximum Extent has just been reached. This is a measurement of the amount of sea ice covering the Arctic at the end of each winter. For the past several decades, the maximum Arctic ice extent has been declining. Scientists monitor this vital element of our planet from space with a variety of different spacecraft that make global measurements in remote and treacherous locations not easily accessible from the ground. For more, log on to www.nasa.gov.
Hi, I'm Bob Ben Chadler. I'm a scientist at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center. I study ice, I'm a glaciologist, and I've been doing it here for almost 30 years and having a great time doing it. West Antarctica. Pine Island Glacier drains into an ice shelf, and the satellite data tell us that's the spot. That's the spot where the ice is thinning very rapidly. It's doubled its speed in less than 10 years. Right now, it's moving a foot an hour. This ice is racing into the ocean faster and faster, and we need to know why. We have to go there. Okay, we're going to start now. Two months ago, I was able to stand on the ice shelf. Ice shelf. There was debate in our community. You can't even land on the ice shelf. It's too heavily crevassed. But again, with satellite imagery, we were able to identify a spot that we thought we could land, and we did. We're in the sweet spot on the ice shelf, about the only place you can land. That was the good news. The bad news was the surface was so hard that the airplane, uh, airplane pilots were not willing to land again and again and again with, with heavy cargo loads. So we couldn't put our camp on the ice shelf. Because we couldn't land on the ice shelf, what we were gonna do, we still had some instruments. We set these instruments up as close to the ice shelf as we could. An automatic weather station, fairly complex. It took us about three days to set it all up. But it's there, it's working, it's going to operate, we hope, all the way through the, the dark, cold Antarctic winter, helping us to prepare for the next time we're going to go to the ice shelf. We also set up some two GPS receivers to tell us how fast the ice is going and if there are any changes. That also phones its data back by a satellite phone so we can receive these data right now in, as we prepare for the next field season. We'll go back. We'll go back with helicopters next time and do our field work. 